I <laughs> I didn't see you guys there. I was just grieving the loss of my son, Kiwi. He was a mouse. <laughs> Kindest quietest son ever. How dare you, Mr. Granny, you kill him! I'm listen to my cuss, my comfort, ASMR tuber. Wait, this timeline makes no sense. <gasps> I have content! What? Hey guys, it's me, Rosie Animates, and guess what? I have content again. Yay. I mean, I've had content ideas for a while, but I've been busy playing Genshin and um, drawing. Anyway, but um, but I just had this sudden urge recently to make a video about an ASMR tube I enjoy watching. Uh, also known as Siren Sun ASMR. His, the link to his channel will be in the description down below. So, yee. Yeah. But that ain't why I'm here. The reason I'm making this video is because I was listening to one of his many, many ASMR videos and, in, and one of his many, many, okay, there's a lot of many's, but one of his different universes in his little world timeline doesn't make sense to me. The one that makes me the most confused was the Altera timeline. So I just thought, why not kill two Kiwis with one magic enchanted sword? <gasps> Let's begin. So right a hundred years ago, Sorin, who is a divine or god, whatever, and a dragon in one, because of his birth was illegal to the dragons, he w his mother was killed, and he was raised by a human for 10 years, named Aunt Madeline. My cat is climbing on my computer. I'm adding that to the video. Thank you, Kona. So before my cat rudely interrupted me while sitting on my computer. So, and then she does a big if somewhere, maybe about 20 years or something into his life. Well, well, she dies when he was 10 and then 80 years go by. Okay, anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, and then maybe somewhere, oh yeah, somewhere about 20 years ago, maybe Abel was born. But around then, his dad was murdered by the Lord of the Fish. I mean, the Mer King. And then the Mer Queen, for nine months, gave birth to a tiny blue fish boy. Or Pinky the Crayfish, who tragically froze to death and died. Anyway, named Bryn. And then she also got the big oof, because, I don't know, why not? We need drama. We need drama for these characters. I mean, Siren is just like, you know what? Half of my OCs are too hot. They're too hot to live. You know what they need? Yes, let me just spice some drama into this juice and make them suffer for millions of years. Anyway, this, it's kind of important, but it doesn't affect anything to what I'm going to talk about the most. So the main reason I brought you all here was to talk about... How does this timeline work, Mr. Sirenson? <laughs> Mr. Sirenson ASMR, my teacher, could you please explain this to me? How does this timeline work? Like, Abel's sister gets cursed first, then burns down Ravenfell? I'm like, wouldn't it? Okay, to me, logically, it would make sense if she burnt it down. Um, Lady Cersei's like, oh, hell nah, bitch. I'm gonna curse your ass. But then, boom. Then everything falls into circle. But no, Mr. Sirenson ASMR was like, I need, I need confusing people who have, who, who can't live like this, you know? He's just like, I know people will hate what I'm going to do, but I'm going to make the most confusing timeline ever. Like a little shit. God damn it, Mr. Siren Sun. Hey, Samar, okay, why am I saying Mr.? I don't know. Anyway, um. Do you want to end up like Grayson's family? Okay. So a big evil witch and a few other characters survived the burning of Ravenfell. No one cares for them, really. They're just there, like the side characters are. <laughs> oh, but this is where I get need to use some of my theories for this shit. 
Because Mr. Simon Sen ASMR says, There's no fucks given on my theory timeline battlefield. That didn't make any more sense than my own, the own timeline. You know? Alright, anyway, um. So Lady Cersei gets her face burned, like. Burn, burn, like she turns into like freaking Dobby from My Hero. Wait, no, 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 no. Even better. She turns into Voldemort. Or I burnt bacon. No, 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 no. That's too good. I hate bacon, actually. Um, burnt chicken nuggets. That's, she's a burnt chicken nugget witch. But she gets burnt from the dragon princess, a girl boss, Abel's sister. Cassia, I think? Yeah, it's Cassia. I, to- I totally pay attention. Um, so... But that's not really likely. Even though Abel does get Abel's sister, whatever, um, gets cursed, we don't see the cursing. We see we do witness the burning of Ravenfell and the Abel Listener Part Three. From what we know, Abel did mention she was cursed a few years ago. We still so that means we would still be meeting Abel. Might have happened way before all of the awful shit she done, you know. Abuse! The cinnamon rolls! See how? It's, it's fucking Duke! And then, ah! I hope she dies. Like, no, 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 no. You know, I don't want her to do a William Afton siren, okay? I don't want her to burn, then come back, and then burns again, then possesses a, a gang cartridge or some fucking fuck. And they'd be like, what's up, bitch? Anyway, as I was burning all my books in my library, just to make sure... Some bitch doesn't possess me or my books. I swear to God, if she possesses my books. Um, but you know that the reason this is a lot of this is happening is because her parents are dead. Oh my God, this is Harry Potter. Oh my God. I figured out everything. The whole timeline is Harry Potter. Um, I find out, I found out just a few minutes ago it wasn't Harry Potter. So I cried for three hours. I'm turning my light on, so I'm not like Vox, and cried for a K, cried to the K for 80 years about my dead wife, and then had another kid. <laughs> eh. So, um, so the burning of, of Ravenfell must have happened for, like, a little while, because, because we know that Duke is older, or the same age as Theo, or the same age as Theo's older brother, I don't even know his damn name. Probably not important. Um, so the best theory for this is that it that the cursing happened way before these boys were born, or before maybe before Theo was born, or maybe before um Duke was born. But then it would still wouldn't work because there's a lot of older characters that was that was affected by her. Like Theo's listener was kind of affected by her, you know. Listener was just like. Aha! Uh-huh. I want to be free. And then the old science bitch was like, "I want a bird," and then curses her with a book. This is just FNAF, but with books. Oh my god. Um. So the best option for me to figure this out is that how long it was when Cassia was cursed was would have been to three, to four, to maybe seven to five years. That's the best option I have. Cause if it was a thousand years, it wouldn't make sense. Because Cassia and, like, Abel are old. They're old as rocks. They're, they're literally older than dirt. I know, that ought to be, like, freaking, like... <sighs> they know I was gonna say Rex, didn't they? They're like, uh-huh. That bitch changed Bella. Bella's really hot. Uh, Bella. Bella, I mean, Bella. Bella, yeah. Bella ain't hot. I'm not gay. Screw you. Um, Bella to the moon. And, uh, she deserves better. So. So maybe after a couple of years of her reeling over Montel, is when things start? But we can actually somewhat determine the timeline for this. We do know that Mason's family was killed by half-blood. Wolf, that is addicted to, uh... Shit, what is it called again? Kona, help. Um, my, um, my research tells me it's yellow dragon pixie dust. Yes, it's yellow dragon pixie dust. But we do know this all came from Lady Evil Burned Bacon Biatch. That's literally my script. I think I was meant to, like, say her name, but you know what I'm saying, that When she began real, it's about understanding how old Mason is and how old he was when his family dies. We can actually get a year how long she ruled. 
by doing some digging, trying to find how old Mason is. Since, well, I have to pay to know how old he is, but I can't, so I have to do digging elsewhere. So, I found out that now Mason is now. I don't freaking know. I've searched for hours and found nothing. But I could say that Mason is old enough to drink. <laughs> and that he was a child when his parents had died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to think that one meme Siren sent on Twitter, I'm showing it up on the screen, was right. You know what? I'm gonna cry. I'll be back. So, Mr. Siren Sun ASMR. You're becoming Scott Coffin Jr., aren't you? But you're even more mean. Because I've been crying for so long because of you. <laughs> But you know what? You may not know this. I've kidnapped you and you're now in my basement. Even though you might be in your apartment, but you're in my basement. Oh, ah! good eye. Greetings, Fazbear and friends. Uh, appreciate the formalities, but who are you and why are we hanging from the ceiling? I am uh, your biggest fan. I'm obsessed with Five Nights at Freddy's. I've always dreamed of meeting you. Wait, 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 wait. Does it actually? It does! <laughs> Let us go, you clucking! Scott! Hey, guys. My sweet, sweet Scotty Poo has been voluntarily making new FNAF games in my basement since 2014. Isn't that right, Scotty? Well, uh, you, you threatened my life, so I wouldn't call it voluntary. You know? Scott, do I need to bring out the George Foreman grill again? No, ma'am. Good boy. Why do you have a strong up like mackerels, you sea witch? Oh my god, he spoke to me? <laughs> uh, I wanted your guys' blessing on my dream project before Scotty Pooh goes back to the basement. But you said we'd stop after FNAF the The Earth. grill, Scott! <sighs> Anyways, I want the next FNAF game to be all about me. I already have it all planned out. There's gonna be a, a, a giant Freddy Fazbear mall, golden Freddy statues, and, and... That's so unrealistic. Not even McDonald's is big enough to have their own themed mall. Shut up, Freddy! Anyways, that's a yes, right? It better be, because if not, well, there's four more George Foreman grills in the basement. So... I have the bad news and the super duper bad news. Let's start with the bad news. He escaped my basement. Crap on a stick. But the really bad news is he called the cops. So, um, um, before the cops get here, Siren, maybe you could take back the um, accusation of a child who looks like a dog with brown and pink hair kidnapped you if I make you a wager. I think you might like this. Um, you know, I'd like to say I'm kind of a voice actor myself, you know? I mean, Siren, if you ever want to do this weird prank, like, you know, there's this one ASMR video I saw. It was like, an emo ostrich fights for your love. Or you fight an, an ostrich. <gasps> it doesn't matter! But, um, Siren, would you ever want, I don't know, Dora the Explorer to be in one of your videos? Well, uh, my audition for, and also my peace treaty to not be arrested, is at the end of this video of my, of the best Dora Explorer voice you've ever heard. But, uh, maybe you can also just forget that I, uh, you know, <laughs> the truth, please. That Lady Saucy Fine lived in Ravenfell during the time of its burning of Cassia. Wait, what? She owns a gay artifact and cursed Cassia with it. With an in, an infe infinite that ah! I'm not reading that word, but a curse as a punishment for restoring her home in family. Next we proceed to the burnings of Ravenfell part 367. And why this lore hurts my eyes and my dyslexia is acting up. As promised, Mr. Thyronson ASMR, would you like to witness the Dora the Explorer impression by Rosie Animates? Oh, let's do it, Dora! It's me! A B! 